Today on Destination Polaris, we travel to Sand Hollow State Park in Utah. Sand, rocks, snow, bring it on. Destination Polaris is presented by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Welcome to Destination Polaris. We are in Sand Hollow, Utah. Alexa, this place has everything. Seriously, it has rocks, it has sand dunes, and as you can see, if you're lucky, a little bit of snow. For years, we've been hearing about Sand Hollow, the rock crawling, the sand dunes, the views. I'm not sure why we waited this long. Our ride command navigation directs us towards Sand Hollow in southern Utah, a little over two hours east of Las Vegas. Sand Hollow is, is located just outside St. George, Utah, which is the southernmost part of Utah. It's in a town called Hurricane, Hurricane. I'm not really well versed on how to say that. We invited industry leaders from California, Arizona, Utah, and Indiana to ride with us for the week. We also brought a handful of brand new razors. Today, we're in the all new Polaris Razor Turbo R. We've been in the Pro R, which I can tell you is amazing. Two seaters and four seaters. We've got it all, so let's gear up and head out. It always helps to know locals on any ride. That's why we brought Utah's own Brandon Twitchell. There's so many places we go that are amazing, but man, this is it. This is it. Doesn't get any better than this. Brandon plans to lead the group on the West Rim Trail. It's a famous ride known for rock crawling. First stop on our ride, the toll booths. The toll booths are just a warm up because from here on, everything gets a little bumpier and a lot more technical. What I like about the West Rim is each section or obstacle has a name. You've got Around the Globe, Double Sammy, Rock Garden, and the Playground. We rolled up on a place called The Notch. I think it's probably the funnest, most exhilarating part of it because you know, you're going up and down and it's all technical. This place here is just amazing because you've got stuff that's pretty easy and then some of the stuff just gets really intense. You know, there's a lot of really good technical climbs on it, but there's also a lot of bypasses. So right out of the gate, everyone really did good. How's everyone doing? Good? Because we're going to stop for a quick bite at the lunchroom. Wheat thins, the best. Tangerines, trying to be healthy. Beef jerky. Uh huh. Protein plates, turkey cheddar, cashews, and cranberries. All right. <laughs> Don't eat too much because you're about to feel the pinch. 
Alexa, I'm a little nervous about this spot here. It seems kind of tight. It's a little tight. It's about one shack height. Seven, seven, one? Yeah, about <laughs> seven, one, give or take. Yeah, we yeah. need that uh, extra inch or two because we are about to run the squeeze. That's probably the best. I get a little scared, but you know. <laughs> doing this, wall to wall. Rockford's car. They had the whitest car, so we were, we were questioning whether it was gonna go through it. We all survived the squeeze, but are we ready for what's next? You can feel a total difference in it. It's an amazing machine. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Rockford Fosgate, purpose built audio. Full throttle battery, the one that works. And by Waltons, everything but the meat. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. We're at Sand Hollow State Park in Utah, and if you're looking for a destination that has it all, this is the place. Sand Hollow has become over the last few years like probably my favorite spot to actually come drive, ride, camp. It's got everything here. RJ Anderson would know. He's one of the most celebrated off-road racers in the country. I think it's catching on, but it, it is interesting to me that this place hasn't grown bigger than it already is. Don't air that, yeah, let's keep it small. Maybe that's why it makes it so great. You know, there isn't millions of people out here. We'll keep it our little secret, RJ, but we did invite some newbies to join us. A lot of them is first timers, mostly. You know, I cannot believe that this is my first time here. I'm in shock. Greg, I'd give you a hard time, but you're not alone. You know, it's pretty hard to believe. I've been to a lot of places around the country and I always hear like, you need to go to Sand Hollow and I'm surprised I haven't yet. You know, this is my style of riding. I love the technical stuff. Super excited to be here. We'll let the guys off the hook because it's our first time as well. We've taken the group to the West Rim Trail to test out the new Razors. Rock crawling is still a new avenue for me. I, I didn't grow up doing it. I enjoy rock crawling a little bit more. I just raced King of the Hammers and now coming out here, it's fun. You can feel a total difference in it. It's an amazing machine. The ride quality, super plush. Really soaks up all the bumps just articulating through the canyons and stuff, you can really tell a difference. They're so capable, you can literally point in any direction. It goes up stuff, goes down stuff, and the suspension in them is unreal. Here lately, we've been cruising around in the rocks and put on the rock mode, and then it's eating up these rocks like a champ. I was shocked on how good the car actually is. Because you know what, out of the box, it was the best UTV I've ever been in. After a full day of riding the rocks, we made our way to the top of the world. It was just unbelievable to follow people and just rail through the dunes. Man, it was so much fun.
but keep your helmets on because it's freezing up here. So Brandon, they call this the top of the world. We're on top of the world! But it's also the coldest place on the planet right now. <laughs> today, today it is. We were here three days ago and it was 70 degrees in shorts and t-shirts. And I think it's probably what, 45 degrees right now? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're lucky. Yeah. So yeah. this is, you know, one of the lots of destinations here, but this is one of the major ones. Yeah, it's very iconic for everybody to come and get their photos with the sign and everything else. Kind of the it's it's either the start of the day or the end of the day, it seems like a lot of the time. And from here, uh, you can see literally yeah, you know, you everything. St. George, Nevada, Zion Mountains back over there. I also think people are mad at us right now. They're like, how long do we have to stand up here and freeze? <laughs> Alexa, amazing day in the rocks, but I have a feeling things are about to turn. That's right, when we get back, we're hitting the sand and we might just be in for a little surprise. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Aluma Trailers, ready to ride when you are. Assault Industries, lead, explore, conquer. Quad Boss, get out there. And by Super ATV, the leader in aftermarket parts and accessories. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. Alexa, grab your gloves and your hat. You're gonna need it. There's no place like Utah. Jared's guilty for making me come out for the freezing cold. <laughs> it's cold out here today. My toes are already cold. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even started riding yet. I brought my snowboarding gloves, but I did not bring the snowboard. Long way from California, huh, boys? Mm -hmm. I love this place. I've never been here when it's this cold. This West Coast crew is going to need a little help from their Minnesota friends on how to stay warm. Stock up on the hand warmers, everyone, because we're in for a treat. Hand warmers, that's it. Staying warm, trying. These were a lifesaver. These hand warmers, you throw them in your gloves, that was a pro tip. I'd never done that before. They were the savior for the strip. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, perfect. Man, you're feeling like, wow, this is incredible. Oh, it's coming down now, loving it. It's like, I'm thinking I'm on a ski slope right now. Cruising in the dunes, in the snow. I just don't even know what to say. It was just unbelievable. I've seen photos, but I've never experienced it in person. Fortunately, I got to be in the lead and the first one to make tracks. From someone from Arizona, riding out in the snow has been quite the adventure. But it has been great. I love it. The dunes here at Sand Hollow might not be as large as other places, but I don't think anyone cares right now. Riding the, the snow with the sand, it was just a crazy combination. There was nobody out in the dunes. We had the place to ourselves. Yeah, we took advantage of it. All the fresh tracks and smooth dunes. And we just tore it up in every way. 
it was epic riding for sure. I hope y'all worked up an appetite because we're headed back to camp for a little barbecue. This evening, dinner's on you, I heard. That's why I showed up. I rarely come out to these places if someone's not buying me dinner, so I heard dinner's on Destination Players. Your chips and guac. We got all three burners going down, baby. Well, we've been eating sand all morning, so probably a little lunch. real food be quite nice right now. Is it snowing right now? Snow on the dunes I was fine with, but this is a little ridiculous. Feels like it's snowing right now. Is it snowing right now? <laughs> it's snowing! It's all right, I got this. Just eyeballing it, trying to not mess it up. There's snow on the cheese. Don't tell anyone. This is a disaster. Why did this happen right when I started grilling? We could have been in there the whole time. This is a whole nother show. Grilling in extreme circumstances. I don't think the heavy stuff's gonna come down for another couple hours. It's hailing. Now it's hailing. The cheese definitely has hail on it. Do you see what's going on behind you? Everyone's huddled up inside. Save yourselves, everyone. All of a sudden, it's just Alexa by herself. Where'd everyone go? Oh, Jared. I'm, I'm here. I'm here for moral support. <laughs> Protect the burgers. Whatever idea it was for a cookout. Hopefully these are done enough for folks. It's just thawing my hands right now. So now I think we do something that we've never really done before. We have this podcast, but we're going to do a little different. Destination Players podcast is being recorded on the road. Yes. First time ever. And not only on the road, but in the Earth Roamer. In the Earth Roamer. Sweet. And you know why we're doing it in the Earth Roamer? Because it's warm. Because it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> and we get to hang out yes. in this awesome machine and do our podcast. So why don't you guys join us? Let's go. Well, welcome to another edition of the Destination Polaris podcast. And for the first time ever, we are on the road. I'm willing to call it a special edition. A special edition? Limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> it's a limited edition. We're going to warm up for a bit, but when we come back... We take one final spin around the park. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by FlowFast, the ultimate portable fluid transfer system. Polaris Adventures, adventure everywhere. And by Amsoil. Run with us. Welcome back to DP. What a week it's been at Sand Hollow State Park in Utah. We've rock crawled. Through some sand and snow. Two different playgrounds with one amazing backdrop. Epic. The scenery is just epic out here. The view, of course, that's a whole nother story. You get the view of the whole valley, and then that's stuff that you can't find anywhere else. I just love the terrain because you have all the different elements. From rock, to trail riding, the dune. It's fun to come out because you have every different type of terrain. Literally, you could have a five mile loop and do insane rock crawling, full sand dune bowls, and then a, a desert rock trail back. Done, five miles, do it all. And of course, it doesn't hurt to do all of this with some new toys. They have spent the time and dialed the suspension. That new dynamic suspension that you can select it and set the different levels on it, it truly worked for rock crawling. 
It worked for fast dunes. It was amazing. That car is truly incredible. chassis and how they have the suspension mounted on the front end now. It's really smooth and has the different rod modes depending on what you're going through. Rocks. Sand. And snow. It was epic riding for sure. Everyone have fun? This is the best vacation. <laughs> Is that right to say? I don't want to get fired. Don't worry, we've got you covered. I mean, honestly, Sand Hollow is one of these places that everybody needs to come out and see. With all the different terrains, you've got rock climbing, you've got the sand. And to be able to do it with industry friends and you guys, it's amazing. It's been the best time ever.